Welcome to the A to Z of Dynamics 365 Marketing. We're on the letter Y and letter Y is going to be for YouTube. So let's have a look how we can actually add a subscribe to YouTube button that we can use on our marketing emails. Okay, in this video, we're gonna be combining a couple of things that we've looked at in other letters. So one is the content blocks and the other one is, I guess, files where we can upload images. So we're going to go and go into the content blocks area. I'm adding a new one in here and let's put a name and this is going to be subscribe to YouTube. Okay, and I'm gonna have it available on emails, forms and pages. If I go back in here, I'm going to add an image element and I can browse out or if I need to upload, I can browse out, find, find the file that I want. So I have an uns I have a subscribe button that's going to be used for YouTube and I'm going to go ahead and click select. Now I'm going to just put in a couple of things. So we'll just put alt text as YouTube and then we'll change it and I'm going to make the height, let's do 60. Um, and then I can change other things if I need it. And then the, finally, the important thing is the link. Where's that going to go to? Now, if you think about your YouTube channel URL, you're going to have a link to it. You might have a custom vanity URL, such as mine would be youtube.com forward slash Megan V Walker. If I paste this in here, we can see that we've got the youtube.com URL, then the Megan V Walker. But what we can do is at the end, we can add in and append sub underscore confirmation equals one. So I'll show you what that will do in just a moment. So I've finished, that's all I want to do. And I'm gonna go ahead and go live with this. Now, if I go into one of my marketing emails, and if I go into this one, and we can go ahead and we can add a content block. I'm gonna put the content block down here. Because I've made it live, I should now be able to see it. So there's that subscribe to YouTube and we've added it in. Now, if I go and preview this so that we can, hang on, let's go ahead and save. We should be able to go ahead and see the link when we hover our mouse. And if I click on it now, because I'm not actually logged into YouTube, oh, it's playing behind, but if because I'm not actually logged into YouTube, it's basically saying, are you sure you want to subscribe to Megan V. Walker? Hi. So then I can go ahead and subscribe, log in if I, if I needed to. So anyone that's not currently subscribed is going to get that pop-up that will ask them if they want to subscribe. So it's a nice way to actually have a subscribe button for your YouTube channel and actually have it pop up to say, yes, do you want to subscribe? So it kind of like pushes your customers or your users to subscribe a little bit faster. So that's what we're looking at in terms of why for YouTube. There's other things that would tie in with YouTube as well. So if we look at our content settings, for example, we also on the content settings have a field that allows us to put in that YouTube URL. If I hover my mouse here, you can see I've done the same thing here. I actually have the YouTube URL with the sub confirmation equals one after it. So again, if anybody then uses social media icons and then pulls in from the YouTube URL under content settings, that will go ahead and populate and do the same thing. When someone clicks on the link or clicks on the icon, it will prompt them to confirm that they want to subscribe. So why for YouTube? Hope that's helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.